And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOC network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSOV like network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the loudest, best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help or at least try. I knew that most modern day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOG network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today we're currently featuring over 2100 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs, such as one of my favorites called Something to Crow About. That's KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9 VKV Logbook and KC9 VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. From a, um, a journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is I have the actual audio masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOG network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QIM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we'll be running four internet SDR receivers monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also in this selector is our local receiver audio. 
And today, a local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. In addition, two of the three may be rotated separately. They are selected by a six-position rotary selector. Also today, on the transmit side, we'll be running our NOSWR specially oriented resonant dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant dipole runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today, we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you'll protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you'll reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, since this is part of the band where we have many nets trying to operate in a very confined area, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. Again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Charlie, got a copy? Yeah, hi Jim. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost late here. This is K1GZL. Are you copying? Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. Charlie, 30 over by uh, Milford SDR. Roger, roger. Over by uh, Milford SDR. Roger, roger. Okay, uh, roger, roger on that. You're only in, running at S4 to 7 uh, direct, as I don't have the capability of uh, SDR. It's uh, right now, it's a beautiful afternoon. The temperature is in the high 60s and near 70. And late tonight, uh, we'll have some scattered showers and it's extremely cold air coming in here compared to normal. And uh, by morning, we could be in the upper 30s and low 40s with scattered uh, showers and a high tomorrow of 45 to uh, uh, 50 uh, degrees. And some of the higher mountains in the presidential range will uh, probably turn into snow. Uh, turn into snow, which will be interesting. Uh, I did talk to Captain Mike uh, this morning, flying from Sacramento, California to uh, Philadelphia. I picked him up and I got a recording of him at, uh, as he was passing over eastern uh, Iowa uh, and then on the ground in Philadelphia. But however, on the ground in Philadelphia, I had a bad connection uh, in my uh, uh, recording, uh, so when he signs, finally signs off with me, he is though on the ground uh, in Sacramento, and uh, I'll try to play this for you right now. Uh, this is k one g at L, and here is Captain Mike uh, in a Boeing 767 uh, flying uh, from Sacramento, California to uh, Philadelphia, PA. Uh, here he is, I hope. Charlie 30 miles from Boston to Rapids at 370. Uh, speed dial, we're just completely across the ground with 
a uh, 42 knot tailwind. Uh, we're showing right now minus 50 degrees and uh, 830 miles to go uh, Philadelphia. He wants you to sit out there for Whiskey Charlie 59 Portland Charlie. Okay, when he signed off there, he was on the tarmac. Uh, uh, his plane was in a position facing north. And uh, he was just, of course, running the same power. He always does. About uh, 400 uh, watts with the antenna being only uh, 8 feet long connected to the uh, sloping uh, front uh, part of the, of the tail. KC9 VKV. I'm sorry about the uh, uh, problem. Uh, the recorder acted up. K1G said, oh, that was at the very end. Roger, Roger, Charlie. I, <laughs> it's like me. It was uh, it was the machine that messed up. <laughs> never, never human error. No, no, we can't go there. Now I understand, Charlie. You you do an amazing job. Now you, you, you can tell people exactly maybe how you you're doing that because that uh, seventy three hundred was never meant to uh, transmit uh, audio like that, Roger. Uh, transmit uh, audio like that, Roger. Uh, Roger, that is, that's true. That is absolutely true. The 7300 was uh, met, uh, came with a card, came with a card, and the card was just to hear it in your shack. Hear it in your shack. Now, uh, Jim Brinkle, WA3FET, uh, who's been an electric, in fact, he is an electronics uh, engineer at Penn State University, uh, he got his 7300 probably about four years ago or five years ago. He got it a year before I did, and he uh, noticed the same problem, that the, uh, uh, that the 7300 did not uh, allow it to go over the air. He says, well, this has got to stop. This will stop. Uh, I'm going to play around with this and see what, uh, see what happens. So what he did... What he simply uh, did, he got. He had a friend that had a cassette had been sitting in the closet for umpteen years, for a long, long time, and he started uh, playing around with it and uh, working on it, and it worked out so well. Uh, because I got my 7300 a year after uh, Jim did, uh, and uh, it worked so well. And when he did get it going. Uh, he says, Charlie, would you like to, me to work this out so that you can do the same thing? You can play it back yourself. So I said, oh, Jim, that would be fantastic if you could uh, work that out. So he worked it out, and, uh, uh, and uh, we got the thing up here going, and I had the help of uh, another uh, amateur uh, here. Uh, I'm not that electronically endowed, so to speak, but we got it going. And I've been using it ever since. Every once in a while, there are glitches that uh, develop, but uh, it can be done with the 7300. But the original design, uh, Jim, was not to be able to do it with the 7300. Uh, but I'm glad that uh, G Jim uh, figured that this problem has got to be corrected, and I believe Jim did correct it. KC9 VKV, K1G ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Now, just a question of interest. Uh, uh, does the 7300 have the capability of uh, recorded uh, redundant uh, Q, uh, DX calling? In other words, uh, a, uh, can it uh, call uh, a DX uh, over a period of time uh, on the air? get that comment, uh, Jim. You did drop way down. You dropped direct, uh, copying you direct. Uh, it dropped way down. I could not get the last comment, uh, Jim. Go ahead. Roger, I was just questioning whether that 7300 had the capability of uh, doing a, a CQDX uh, a repetitive calling with your call sign uh, automatically over a period of time. Uh, automatically over a period of time. Oh, yes, 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 you can. Uh, you can, uh, absolutely. Uh, but I don't uh, have that set up here. As, uh, I don't get in these uh, contests. I don't participate in the contest myself. Uh, but, oh, yes, you can do it uh, with the 7300. Go ahead. 
Roger, Roger. All right, Charlie. Well, I was just curious about that. Uh, so I appreciate uh, you checking in as always, and thank you very much. And 73 up that way, Roger. And thank you very much. And 73 up that way, Roger. Okay, 73, um, uh, 73, Jim, and we'll hopefully catch you next week. Catch you next week at the same time. KC9, VKV, K1G, and I hope there goes my voice. Yeah, my voice just left the, the radio show. <laughs> 73, Jim. Roger, Roger, Charlie, 73 up that way, sir. And uh, just a reminder, this is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOC Network. My name is Jim, KC9 VKV, and I'm better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And we are recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And that will take you to our YouTube QSO Vlog page, where we're currently featuring over 2,100 QSO Vlog air check recordings. This recording will be cut number one in the series, and we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. And also we have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical, more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. You'll have to check it out. KC9 VKV highlights on a YouTube search. Well, this is the Friday afternoon QSO VlogNet, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. For radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Okay, name's John here. We're in Indiana, close to Cincinnati, in November, X-ray 8, Bravo. Roger, John, up around uh, Cincinnati, uh, uh, and what radio are you running on today, John? Yeah, are you running on today, John? Oh, yeah, John, you're another station there. Um, yeah, we're using the um, FTDX 3000, and I'm um, using the Marathon um, 811 amplifier. With a special inverted B over. Uh, Roger that, sir. Well, if you're interested in our setup, you might uh, just review a couple of things with us. It uh, starts with the verification that you're in the uh, 100 to 2900 band pass. That is what uh, we recommend 100 to 2900. Roger, Roger. 2900, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, see if you can check that for me. The uh, bandwidth over. Uh, I can't really do that, but uh, do you have a, you have a band selection uh, transmit uh, bandwidth selection? Uh, is that a Roger? Uh, is that a Roger? You know what? I really don't know if there is one on here or not. I'll have to uh, get in the manual and see they're over. Roger, Roger. Okay, take a note to self uh, to verify your transmit bandwidth as being 100 to 2900. That is preferred. Of course, you can get wider than that, but then you can also get people coming looking for you with pitchforks. So uh, we just, uh, you know, recommend a 100 to 2900 band pass. Roger. 100 to 2900 band pass. Roger. Roger that. Yeah, I'll have to uh, check into that and see. So there you go. But um, just want to get your location and uh, how copy over. Roger, Roger. We are down around Louisville. We're just across the Ohio River from Louisville, Kentucky, on the Indiana side. Uh, if you would be interested in our setup, uh, the second part of that is uh, your compressor on at a three. It's a token amount. It's a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, a token amount, just a third of the capability of the compressor. But our end uh, result, it will be a 3 dB dynamic range uh, transmitter, which, uh, you know, if you stop to consider the normal transmitter without processing, is uh, 10 dB. Uh, so when we finish our processing, uh, you will be at uh, 3 dB. Roger, Roger. Be at uh, 3 dB. Roger, Roger. Okay, all right. Well, um, yeah, I just want to make sure we're getting out for the most part, too, so, because uh, band conditions are very, very bad today. They're over. Yes, sir. I'm looking at your uh, audio signal now. It does look uh, like you are about uh, 3 dB. 
uh, which would mean that your ALC is uh, running uh, mid-scale to two-thirds. And uh, so that does uh, produce a 3 dB dynamic range and an 80 to 85 percent uh, average peak modulation. And your EQ pattern looks good, too. You have uh, a nice uh, top in there for intelligibility. Roger, roger. In there for intelligibility. Roger, roger. Very good. Yeah, I'm trying to be sensible enough with it, so I want to get that all checked. And uh, so there you go. Um, yeah, we have the uh, equalizer set the way we like it and uh, drive the, um, you know, input to it. So uh, I think we're doing okay. Hopefully we are. Back to you. NX8B, over. Yes, sir. I, I just checked around. I'm not receiving you on my local antenna. Uh, it uh, is down to 100 cycles. The receiver is down to 100 cycles, and uh, I usually like to uh, get uh, a check in on that because uh, most of these SDRs are allowed at about 250 cycles or, or even higher than that, you know. So, but I, you know, our proximity is such that uh, you're going right over my head. I, I don't even have a copy on you, and I've got uh, three uh, vertical 10 foot uh, magnetic loop antennas, one aimed uh, at zero degrees, one aimed at 90, and the other. At 136 degrees, and uh, you're, you're not there, so you're just going right over my head, Roger. Yeah, so you're just going right over my head, Roger. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I have you about um, 5 to 10 over 9 here constantly, so uh, good signal. Yeah, I, I am doing experimental antenna, and um, I assume it's I assume it's on. It's probably. Yeah, it's down in Louisville, you're at the end of the antenna, but I get good performance on it. So, um, yeah, I'm using a dipole here, but the uh, ground radio part of the dipole is at a 45 degree angle. So, I'm experimenting to see what kind of propagation I, I get with this arrangement. I get a very good match and experimenting to where, what it's doing and what directions are over. Roger. Well, I am using the uh, Milford uh, SDR as my receiver at the moment, and you look to be about uh, 12 over on Milford. Now, I have three other uh, SDRs that I monitor, uh, all coming up on a six-position rotary switch, so I can go through my SDRs and my local radio in uh, about a second. Uh, and you know, I'm just listening for uh, uh, the better signal, so I can I can run through uh, six uh, five positions in less than a, a second. Uh, and so, uh, like I say, I don't have a copy on you locally, but uh, you're about uh, 12 over on uh, Milford. And if you want to hear your recording, we are recording uh, now till five, and then we'll post it up on YouTube. So if you'd like to hear it, you go to YouTube and do a call and a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. It'll take you directly to this recording. This will be a cut number one in a series of uh, 2100 QSO Vlog air check recordings. Roger. Vlog air check recordings. Roger. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, I appreciate the help and um, see how things are doing. So um, I will clear out and let you pick up some more stations and help some other folks out. So uh, Thank you very much. We'll turn it back to you for any further ado. Annex 8B, back to you. Roger, Roger, John, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, a beautiful weekend. And uh, like I say, if you get a chance, uh, check out your recording on uh, YouTube uh, by doing that call to search, KC9VKV, uh, followed by the word logbook. Uh, this is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOC net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, there's something, a call from uh, Foreland. There was a station calling from Foreland. Uh, come back uh, slowly, phonetically, with your call sign, sir. Slowly, phonetically, with your call sign, sir. You will what? I got, I got K4J out of that. <laughs> so try it one more time. Come up on that mic and uh, uh, let me hear you uh, again on your call sign. Let me hear you uh, again on your call sign. <laughs> Juliet Echo Mike, is that a Roger? Juliet Echo Mike, is that a Roger? 
Yes, sir. Okay. What's the name there, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. What's the name there, sir? My name is James Elliot Alpha Mike Sierra. Yes, sir. It's hard for me to forget that. That's what my name is. So uh, I got that. And where are you located, sir? I got that. And where are you located, sir? Scottsville, Kentucky. Scottsville, Kentucky. Is that a Roger? Scottsville, Kentucky. Is that a Roger? That is a Roger. Yes, sir, James. And what radio are you running today, sir? Sir, James. And what radio are you running today, sir? Running the FT-998, sir. So, Ye Yezu FT-990, Roger? The Ye Yezu FT-990, Roger. That's right. All right. Well, if you're interested in our setup procedure, it uh, starts with, uh, well, gosh, uh, you do not have a variable bandwidth, I don't think. You're uh, kind of fixed on that radio. But uh, on your compressor, uh, our uh, setup would start with your compressor engaged uh, at a 3. It's a token amount, but it does just what we need it to do, so it would be a uh, compressor on. Well, let's see. Let me verify that. Uh, you probably don't have a, a, a sketch in 3 to 10 or 30 to 100, so let me say um, uh, 10 o'clock on that uh, compression input control. Uh, 10 o'clock, roger, roger. Uh, 10 o'clock, roger, roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Uh, so that's uh, that's three out of uh, well, the, um, that 990 does have a, a three to ten uh, a sketch in on its input control. Uh, a sketch in on its input control. It has a shell on the measure. You put the uh, the uh, uh, selection knob in compression position. It'll give you the number of dB of compression. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we're just looking for about a third of the compressor capabilities. It's a token amount. You know, when com comes to compression, a, a six is actually the same thing as a three, but the six has suck up. So when you talk about uh, the actual working of the compressor on the word, a three will give you the same results as a six without that uh, suck up. So uh, that's what we do, a three on the compressor. Then uh, let's move to your AOC with uh, mic uh, gain in hand. And as you say the magic word audio, audio, and you drag out that A, uh, you adjust uh, that to mic gain until your ALC is running mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on the ALC meter by way of mic gain control as you say the magic word audio. Magic word audio. Oh, hello. Audio, that's uh, about uh, two-thirds. Yes, sir. That's that's important. It's you know just a little bit more than halfway, which would be the mid scale, and uh, the uh, you know the far end of that is uh, uh, two thirds. And actually, the sweet spot is halfway between um, mid scale and two thirds. But you can't just camp right there. So you you have to have that range of uh, mid scale to two thirds. So uh, let's see. And that uh, 990 does not have an EQ page. Is that a Roger? Does not have an EQ page. Is that a Roger? No equalizer in this radio. Yes, sir. So uh, let's do uh, uh, a um, a mic equalization, and we do that by adjusting our proximity to microphone. You know, uh, the thing is, uh, the closer you get to a microphone, the uh, bassier the signal gets. So maybe if you were to back up about an inch or two further back away from that microphone, uh, let me hear you uh, in that position, about two inches f further back than where you were, and uh, tell me about your antenna system for about 10 seconds, and let me listen to you. For about 10 seconds, and let me listen to you. Okay, well, the antenna is a... Uh Old 40 meter dipole. That's 30. 30. 30. Uh, 16 foot at the ends and the inverted V fashion. And let's see, what else can I tell you about it? And you're off the side of the tower. That's KI4JM, go ahead. 
Yes, sir. I've got you on my local antenna. I didn't think uh, that I would be able to do that, but I've got you on my local antenna. So what I want you to do is uh, keep your ALC meter out where you can see it as you speak. And we, uh, you know, play a little game with that. Uh, it's, you know, voice controlling, developing a relationship between yourself and the ALC meter and, and the relationship between your voice and the ALC meter. So you got to have something to do there visually as you're talking to folks. Um, so I would suggest in the next week or so, just just leave your ALC meter out where you can see it as you speak and uh, play that little game of trying to keep that uh, ALC meter in the exact sweet spot of uh, between mid-scale and two-thirds. Roger? Okay, I'll try that. Yes, sir. It's, uh, you know, be interesting. I guarantee you at the end of two weeks, you'll be able to control that meter precisely. Roger? Just with your voice. Well, that's a good possibility. I control both things with my voice. <laughs> Except your wife, sir. Well, I can't control her. She's dead. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I... I'm uh, sorry for that, uh, you know, uh, but in most cases, men, you know, cannot control their their wives anyway with the voice. Uh, it, usually, you know, you the only opportunity you have could, to control her would be through the uh, the uh, pocketbook and uh, being able to, um, well, it's a long story, and I better not talk too, too much, but I'd be uh, uh, saying secrets that uh, she would probably hear, because she listens to all the air checks. So I better watch what I say, Roger. Yeah, you're allowed to hit too close to home. Exactly. She's liable to hit too close to home, Roger. Roger, Roger. All right. Well, I think we got it, James. I think uh, you're sounding good there. And like I say, if, you, if you've if you got that compressor at about the 10 o'clock position, about a third of that uh, is all we need uh, uh, for that uh, compressor. And, uh, you know, and then the mic gain up to where your uh, ALC is running between mid-scale and two-thirds. And you're, you'll be watching that meter and, uh, and using your voice to control it and keeping it in that uh, mid-scale to two-thirds area. Roger. Roger, Roger. All right, James, and if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you uh, to uh, this recording. This will be cut number one in a series of uh, 2100 uh, QSO V log air check recordings. Roger. Okay, well, I don't have a computer. I don't believe anybody needs to have one. It's just my opinion. The opinions are like... Uh Elbows are rear end. Everybody's got one or two. <laughs> you're right there. You're right there. And it has a way of uh, uh, taking over sometimes in your, in your life, uh, you know, so many things. But uh, on the other hand, it allows you to do uh, uh, some things that it wouldn't, uh, you know, you can't do any other way. So uh, there's, there's um, pluses and minuses, I guess, uh, to everything. Well, let me say, uh, 73, James, thanks for checking in, buddy, and uh, you have a great day and a beautiful afternoon. Roger? Roger, Roger. Have a good day. KI4, JM. Roger, Roger. So this is KC9 VKV, a Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, I was on my local antenna. I just moved it over to Milford uh, Station calling. Try again. Station calling, try again. Hello, Oscar for Bravo. Bravo. Was that, uh, come back and try it one more time, sir. I think I got it, but uh, uh, try one more time slowly, phonetically, your call sign. Uh, try one more time slowly, phonetically, your call sign. Bravo, Victor, Bravo. I had uh, B, uh, W, B, but it's Bravo, Victor, Bravo. Roger? B, but it's Bravo, Victor, Bravo. Roger? Oh, Roger, Roger, you got it. Okay, uh, Bravo, Victor, Bravo. What's the name there? Oh, Victor, Bravo. What's the name there? Um, uh, I'm Tom, all right, uh, Bravo, Victor, Bravo, come back with the name one more time, please. Bravo, Victor, 
Bravo, come back with the name one more time, please. The name Roger, Roger, Tony, and whereabouts are you located, sir? Roger, Roger, Tony, and whereabouts are you located, sir? One more time. Got hit by lightning. Uh, you got some lightning happening somewhere. Try one more time, please, sir. Got some lightning happening somewhere. Try one more time, please, sir. Roger, we're about 50 miles west of Atlanta, Georgia, in a little town called Kill. Alrighty, I just, uh, gosh, uh, I've got a Georgia SDR on the line. Uh, tell you what, Tony, why don't you give me uh, about uh, 10 seconds and tell me about your antenna system? And I'll look around and see if I can find us a better path, Roger. Look around and see if I can find us a better path, Roger. Roger, uh, there's a halfway... Uh, all right, uh, Tony. I've got, I'm copying you on uh, Milford SDR. You're about uh, you're about uh, four dB above the Milford uh, SDR noise level. I can't don't have a, a good copy anywhere else. So uh, you know I'm on I'm on Milford. And so uh, if you're interested in our setup procedure, it uh, starts with you uh, verifying that you're in the 100 to 2900 uh, transmit band pass. 100 to 2900 transmit uh, uh, band pass. And uh, if you know that, that's fine. If not, uh, you can check on that later. Uh, but uh, our main start of the uh, setup is uh, to get your compressor engaged and add a 3 on that radio. Uh, compressor on and add a 3 on that radio. Roger. Compressor on and add a 3 on that radio. Roger. Yes, sir, Tony. Okay, now let's uh, move to your ALC meter with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, and you speak it just like you would speak any other word in a normal QSO. Don't stress it real hard, but just the word audio, and drag the A out. Uh, as you look at your ALC meter, adjust uh, with your mic gain control the ALC meter running a mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on the ALC meter by way of mic gain control as you say the magic word, audio. You say the magic word, audio. All right, Tony, now, uh, if do you know how to get to your equalization page on that 7300? To your equalization page on that 7300? Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let me just give you notes. Uh, I'll give you a note for the equalization, and you can crank it in later when you figure out how to get into it. Uh, we want to go plus three clicks treble boost from where it is plus three clicks boost treble EQ from where it is at the moment. Roger. Treble EQ from where it is at the moment. Roger. Roger, roger. That's a roger, roger. And then, Tony, if you get a chance, uh, uh, join us next uh, Friday and uh, and uh, let me hear all that, uh, how that worked out. And in the meantime, and in between time, if you want to hear your audio, uh, I not have a real exceptional copy, but if you want to hear it, you can go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's a YouTube search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. Like I say, you're about four, uh, you're four clicks over uh, the noise level on uh, the uh, Milford uh, SDR. Roger, roger. Stand by, sir.
All right, Tony, uh, let me say 73 to you, sir. I think we've about done here. Uh, if, uh, you know, you've got all that stuff and you crank it in, uh, and then give me a shout next uh, Friday. Uh, we record live from uh, 3.30 till 5 on uh, Friday afternoon, so uh, I'll uh, look forward to uh, seeing you then and uh, hear how all that sounds. 73, Tony, and we'll catch you later. It was a station calling, station calling. Go ahead. Later. It was a station calling, station calling. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, recheck here, James. Uh, KC9VKV. Hope I got that correct. NX8B. This John up here in Cincinnati. By Cincinnati again. So um, I just uh, yeah, your your S level is up to 20, and uh, all the other stations I've been hearing, if I hear any at all, are are nil or void. So um, I just want to see what kind of antenna you're running. If it's pointed in a certain direction, and um, how much power you're on there, James? Back to you, over. Uh, Roger, John. Well, let's see. First things first, we're running a, a Heathkit 220, and uh, we're doing about a KW. Uh, and I am using um, a lot of different antennas. I'm using four Internet SDR receivers, where we're uh, monitoring uh, Arlington, Virginia, Milford, PA, Rochester, and uh, Georgia. Uh, these are Internet uh, SDR receivers. And then I have uh, three... Uh, 10 foot vertical magnetic loops on the local radio and they are uh, running uh, at uh, 0 degrees and at 90 degrees and at 136 degrees and I use those as a as a scanner I was going there two of them are on rotors but you know life is so fast I don't even have time to do the rotor thing so what I did I was just using my 10 foot vertical magnetic loops as a uh, scanner antennas Roger vertical magnetic loops as a uh, scanner antennas Roger Oh, okay, okay, for receive. Uh, what about uh, for uh, <coughs> transmit? Are you using the same ones or not? Oh, no, no. Uh, fixed uh, resonant uh, dipole antenna. Fixed resonant dipole antenna for transmit, always. Fixed resonant dipole antenna for transmit, always. Oh, very good. Uh, you hopefully use the one-to-one. -one. So uh, any particular position, uh, direction that you're pointed at? Uh, well, yeah, uh, I am broadside to Montreal, Canada on one leg and broadside to Miami, Florida on the other leg. And as we were constructing our station, our mantra was uh, 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And uh, with, you know, barring uh, unusual conditions, uh, the antenna supports its mission. Roger. Uh, the antenna supports its mission. Roger. Very good. Okay. Yeah, we got the hot spot down here in the Carolinas and uh, up north here also. So he probably, I, for 40 meters, I would say we're pretty close as far as uh, our distance between us and propagation. So, okay. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to uh, get a grasp on propagation and um, to see what it's doing. So, uh, very good. James, back to you, and I'll clear out on this transmission, and you can carry on. Thanks a lot for your help there, James. KC9VKV, hope I got that correct. NX8B, clear. Back to you. Roger, Roger, John, I have you on my uh, local loop now, uh, two of them. Uh, you're better on my... Uh 134 degrees, so I'm not really sure what why that is. Uh, I would think that would you'd have been better at my uh, at my 90 degree, but uh, you know you are very loud, so I can hear your your bottom end now. And uh, I'm just wondering what kind of mic are you running there? Uh, let's see, I have an NRAD uh, NRAD microphone 629. Um, that that is all a little bass mic. I got it on a boom. Not nothing fancy whatsoever, James. Over. Roger, Roger. I was just wondering if you might be running a, a, wind, a phone windscreen on that mic. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm trying to trying to talk off to the side of it instead of directly into it. Roger. Sometimes though, when you do that, you uh, you get off access to the to the the microphone. Uh, I would suggest if you get a chance, go ahead. You know, you're only talking about four bucks. Get a, a foam windscreen, put it on that mic, and then you can swallow it, and it'll sound beautiful. Okay, I'll see what I can do, and I'll put that on the internet um, priority here. So, okay, James, we'll do that then. So. Um, it's got a small wind. Well, I wouldn't call it a windscreen, but uh, the screen around it. But uh, I guess those windscreens do help. Seven three. Thanks, James. Annex eight B. 
Roger, Roger, John, and uh, again, we have another recording for you to uh, listen to uh, uh, in uh, our QSO Vlog uh, air check recording. So, uh, uh, and this one is on our local uh, radio, which is flat uh, down to 100 cycles. And uh, you might be interested, we also have a spectrum analyzer tied to the audio, and it's looking at both my audio, well, it's looking at all audio, but it's looking at the receiver audio. And I think last time I might have been on the Milford uh, PASDR as I copied you but uh, this time I was on my local antenna uh, and my local radio which is flat down to a hundred cycles so if you look at that spectrum analyzer uh, let me give you a couple of clues about that there are uh, three white marks on that spectrum analyzer the uh, one to the left far left is uh, denotes a hundred cycles so that far left mark on the spectrum analyzer is 100 cycles. And then as you move to the right, the first white line going to the right is 1KC. Then there is a black uh, blank space, which is 2KC. And the next white mark is uh, 4KC. So just a word of explanation as to uh, that, uh, what the markings on that spectrum analyzer as you look at it. Very good. Yeah. Uh, sounds interesting, so I might have to look into them, getting uh, to check it out. So, well, very good. As long as we're doing okay, I'm very happy. Ever. Yes, sir. You know, like I say, well, like you said, I think conditions aren't the greatest today, and you know, you are kind of. Uh, kind of quickly coming and going, but uh, you're more uh, getting there than not. So I think this recording is uh, will be probably better than the, than the other one anyway. Uh, let me say uh, 73 to you, John. Have a great afternoon, and we'll uh, catch you later. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Thank you, James. Have a good day, and um, stay out of the heat. Annex 8B. Roger, Roger, 73, sir. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog uh, air check uh, recording, and Milford has kicked me off again. Let me see. If <laughs> Milford is an unbelievable SDR receiver, and I probably shouldn't say that because then there's a thousand people going to Milford. I'll never be able to get in again, but it is my uh, main go-to uh, because it is so uh, outstanding. Anyway, this is the Friday afternoon Kiss of Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. I think there was a kilowatt six station. Come back, try it again. Come back, try it again. Six Echo Romeo Sierra K six E R S. Echo Romeo Sierra, Roger, Roger, and what's the name there? Roger, and what's the name there? Uh, name here's Blake. Roger, Blake, and whereabouts are you located, sir? Blake, and whereabouts are you located, sir? I'm over here in uh, St. Matthews. Oh, Roger, Roger, St. Matthews, uh, Kentucky, and what radio are you running, Blake? Are you running... I've got the ICOM ICD 756 Pro, and I'm just running an in-fed antenna and a 100 watts. I don't know, are you copying me off your local antennas there? No, I'm copying you off Milford. You're about to head over in uh, Milford, PA, Roger. Over in uh, Milford, PA, Roger. Okay, Roger, yeah. We're about an S9 on you. S9 to 20 over at times, so you're, I mean, you're going to be real good with close as we are. Okay, with close as we are. Yeah, you're, to me, you're a lot better on Milford than you are on my local antenna. I'm only c catching you uh, about uh, 3 to 4 dB over my noise level on my local stuff. But uh, on Milford PA, you look to be about 8 dB over. So a very good signal. Are you running just 100 watts? Signal, are you running just 100 watts? Yeah, Roger, just 100 watts. Uh, just a, a uh, homemade in-fed antenna up about 25 feet. Roger, roger there, Blake. Well, it's sounding pretty good there. Uh, if you want, uh, we'll just run through a couple of things. Uh, uh, does that radio have uh, a um, uh, transfer bandwidth control that you could verify you're in the 100 to 2900 band pass? 100 to 2900 band pass. Uh, I'm a, I'm a percent sure it probably does, but I would have no idea how to, how to get into it. I just got this radio up at Dayton. Um, so however long ago that was, and I haven't really messed with it 
the guy that sold it to me, this thing was in real good condition. I didn't mess with any of the settings he had. But, uh, yeah, I'd be happy to figure it out if you know. But if, if you don't know, I sure the heck don't know. Yes, sir. Well, let me just give you a note to self. Uh, to uh, do, at your leisure check out what the bandpass is on that radio and how to adjust it and ideally you want to be in the 100 to 2900 uh, bandpass mode you know if you've got a book it'll be in there if not you could uh, google it uh, just put the model in and ask about uh, transmit bandpass and how to adjust it and what it is and like I say the, the, the note to you would be to run it in the 100 to 2900 uh, bandpass mode Roger uh, ben Yeah, I'm in the menu as, as we're talking here. Uh, I'm looking for uh, FM. I got FM offset. That, that's probably not it. But I'm looking, and uh, if I stumble across it, I've wrote down. Oh, here we go. No, that's not no. Yeah, we'll have to. I just have to kind of look for that. Yes, sir, Blake. Well, let me give you some notes there, buddy. I think that would be the best way. I know that radio is new to you, and, uh, uh, you know, there's no... S <laughs> the pressure of uh, performing on the command is very difficult if you're not familiar with radio. So let me give you a, a series of notes there, and then you can uh, do it at your leisure. Uh, it starts with verifying that you're in the 100 to 2900 bandpass. That's note one. Note two is engage the compressor at a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100. We're just looking for a third of the possibilities of the compressor. So it's compressor on and a 3 out of 10 or a 30 out of 100. Roger? 30 out of 100. Roger? Okay, Roger. Yeah, um, uh, the compressor is on and w when I look at the compressor it's just compressor on and then wide. So the options are um, wide, narrow, or on. Uh, Roger. Uh, tell you what, uh, just uh, key your radio for three seconds and don't say anything. Just let me hear you uh, key that radio for three seconds and don't say anything. Radio for three seconds and don't say anything. All righty, Blake. I didn't hear anything, so I think you're in good shape where you are on that compressor. Usually, you know, if you uh, get that compressor up around 5, 6, uh, you'll start to hear it suck up, uh, and uh, that did not do that. So you're you're in a good shape on that compressor. So the next point would be to go to your, uh, and the next note uh, to self would be to go to your ALC with uh, mic gain in hand. And as you uh, say the magic word, audio, audio, just as you speak in normal words, uh, don't stress it, just say audio, and drag out that A a little bit, and with mic in hand, adjust your ALC to where it's running mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on the ALC by way of mic gain manipulation as you say the magic word, audio. actually do know how to check that. I've got the uh, meters. Um, I've actually put, put up multiple meters there for ALC. And what did you say it should be at? Okay, your ALC meter should run mid-scale to two-thirds as you say the word audio with mic in hand, and you can adjust it for that. Roger, the sweet spot, the actual sweet spot is halfway between mid-scale and two-thirds, but you can't just camp there. So we just, just say, you know, run uh, between mid-scale and two-thirds uh, by way of mic game manipulation. Roger? By way of mic game manipulation. Roger? Roger, so it's like, uh... Yeah, that's not where it is. Between 25 and 50 there. Uh, yeah, just right there. And uh, the compressor shows a meter too. Uh, it's about 15. Yeah, Roger. I think it. I think it sounds good. I didn't hear any suck up there when you uh, when you silently keyed up. And if that compressor had been up a bunch, uh, it would have. You know, you would hear it come up. Uh, uh, suck up, uh, so it didn't do that. So you're, I think you're in pretty good shape there, Blake. I think you're in pretty good shape there, Blake. Yeah, believe it or not, this is the uh, the stock hand mic here from uh, from Icom. 
<laughs> Roger, just let me give you a, a hint about that. Uh, uh, to minimize the noise, uh, mic uh, mouth noises, you want to talk uh, across that mic. So you pull that mic to the corner of your lips and talk across it. Do not talk uh, directly into it. So just pull it to the corner of your mouth and uh, let it actually touch the corner of your mouth and then talk across it. Roger? And then talk across it. Roger? Okay, yeah, Roger, yeah. And uh, and I appreciate you helping me out there. And I took some of these notes down. When I can figure out how to get into that menu, we'll, we'll uh, check some of that other stuff there. All right, well, 7 threes, I'll be sitting back listening to the rest of it here and see what all you guys get going there. K6 ERS, 7 threes there. Roger, Roger, Blake. And the final thing would be when you find out where your equalization page is, your EQ page, uh, you need to crank in about uh, plus three clicks treble boost from where you are. Three clicks uh, treble boost from where you are at the moment. Roger? From where you are at the moment. Roger? Okay, Roger. That's another one of those notes to, to self. Three clicks treble boost from where you are. So with that, uh, gosh, uh, if you want to hear your audio, uh, go to uh, YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor logbook. And we'll have it uploaded by uh, noon tomorrow. Roger? By uh, noon tomorrow. Roger? All right, yeah, I've, I've been on there before, so I know how to find it. All right, 7 3 8 6 E R S. Have a good one. Roger, Roger. Uh, Blake, 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon Kiss of v -Log Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Whiskey 5, November, Charlie Oscar. Whiskey 5, November, Charlie Oscar. Is that a Roger? Roger, Roger. Roger. And let's see who was... Um, try that one more time. I, I think I miscopied you. One more time, sir. Yeah, the call is Whiskey 5. November, Charlie, Oscar, W5 NPO. Roger, Roger. I was correct. November, Charlie, Oscar, and what's the name there? The name here is Alpha. Wow, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I hear you fine for the, about the first uh, uh, second and a half, and then it just fades out. So we must be having some kind of propagation going on there. Uh, try it one more time on the name, please, sir. Uh, the name here is Matt, Mike, Alpha, Tango. Mike, Alpha, Tango, Tango. Roger, Roger, Matt. I'll copy that. And whereabouts are you, sir? Roger, Roger. I just moved off to uh, Rochester and I got a bit of copy on you. So you're in uh, Ohio and uh, Matt, what radio are you running, sir? Copy on you, sir. You're in uh, Ohio and uh, Matt, what radio are you running, sir? Okay, I'm running a Kenwood TS590S. TS590S and uh, gosh, uh, uh, well, if you're interested in our setup procedure, sir, it starts uh, with you checking to be sure you're in the uh, 100 to 2900 transmit band pass, Roger. 100 to 2900 transmit band pass, Roger. Yeah, and I uh, didn't copy that. Uh, try one more time, Ed. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm still looking for a better, better uh, uh, path for us. Uh, I'm on Rochester right now. You're about uh, uh, three to four dB over their noise level, but uh, you're coming and going. So maybe things will uh, relax just a little bit. Why don't you give me about uh, ten seconds and tell me about your antenna system and let me look around and see if I can find a better path, Roger? System, and let me look around and see if I can find a better path, Roger. Feet. 
Wow. Yeah, well, what is happening here is you're about four seconds under, and then all of a sudden you'll pop up for about three seconds, and then you'll pop back down for three seconds. And uh, they're really fast, really severe um, propagational transitions. I uh, haven't heard that in a long time, that quick and that much uh, difference between the one to the other. But anyway, uh, Matt, if you're interested in our setup procedure, uh, if you can copy me okay, I'll give you uh, some notes and uh, then you can do it at your leisure. I'm not sure that uh, you know, it would probably take us forever to try to work it out uh, propagation-wise where I could really hear you. So I'll just give you uh, our normal setup procedure and you can crank it in and maybe uh, join uh, me next uh, Friday and I can listen to you. But anyway, it starts with you verifying that you're in that 100 to 2900 bandpass mode or in the highest bandpass that the radio is capable of uh, as long as it's not over 2900 2900 is the is the highest that we we're, we're looking for once you uh, work that out to your transmit bandpass uh, then go to your equalizer you want to crank that equalizer on and add a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100 it's just a token amount something you'll never hear on the on the air but it does what we need to do so compressor on and uh, add a 3 or add a 30 depending on whether it's uh, a 0 to 10 or 0 to 100. Then uh, past that you go to your uh, ALC and uh, with mic gain in hand uh, you, and you say the magic word audio audio and you drag out that A adjust your ALC meter for mid-scale to two-thirds operation by way of uh, your mic gain control. So it's uh, your ALC meter and you're saying the word audio and adjusting it with the mic gain until that uh, ALC meter is running, running mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. And then uh, past, past that, uh, if you go to your equalization page and crank in uh, plus three clicks treble boost from where you are. Plus three clicks treble boost from where you are. And uh, you can access this uh, recording of your radio. Like I say, not best conditions, but uh, if you want to hear what what there is of it. Uh, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that's uh, KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook, logbook on a YouTube search that will bring up uh, this recording this will be a uh, cut number one of a series of 2100 QSO V-Log air check recordings and I'll have it posted by noon tomorrow. Roger. Alrighty, Matt. Uh, let me say 73, sir. Sorry we didn't have uh, better conditions, but uh, we have to uh, work with what we've got. So hopefully you've got enough notes to keep you busy for a little while. And uh, we look forward to uh, hearing you uh, and the results of all those numbers uh, uh, next Friday. We record uh, live from 3.30 till 5. So if you join us, uh, we'll look for you. The KZ9 VKV will say 73, sir. This is W5NCO73. Uh, Roger. Matt, uh, forget about the EQ. You're, you're doing good. I heard you very nicely that last transmission. Your EQ is spot on. So I would keep that uh, EQ page just like it is. Roger, Roger. Alrighty, Matt, 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. We're recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Give me a shout. Kilo Alpha 2 Sierra Foxtrot Golf. Sierra Foxtrot Golf Station, come back slowly, phonetically, with your call sign. Station, come back slowly, phonetically, with your call sign. Kilo Oscar 4, Sierra Foxtrot Golf. Kilo Oscar 4, Sierra Foxtrot Golf. Roger, what's the name there? Sierra Foxtrot Golf. Roger, what's the name there? It's red. Oh. Phonetically, please. Phonetically, please. I'm sorry, we doubled. Uh, could you give me that uh, phonetically? Is, that, is it red, R E D, or, or what? Uh, is it red, R E D, or, or what? Yeah, red, R E D. 
Yes, sir, Red, and whereabouts are you located, sir? Yes, sir, Red, and whereabouts are you located, sir? East of North Carolina, about uh, 50 minutes from the Alabama. All right, you read in what radio are you running, sir? All right, you read in what radio are you running, sir? Run the Icon 5300 with a dipole, a uh, homemade uh, antenna. Okay, I want you to check something there, Red. Uh, we are transmitting on 7188.00. 7188.00. Yes, sir, you sound a lot better. You might have been just slightly off frequency, Roger. A lot better. You might have been just slightly off frequency, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, I'm New Ham, so uh, I'll take any info I can get. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the thing is, uh, what I would suggest, uh, and I suggest this to anyone, that it, when you engage in a conversation longer than, uh, say, 30 seconds or so, just automatically hit lock. So you lock your, your uh, transmitter on frequency so you, do, you can't uh, knock it off there. But, uh, and, and don't worry about it right now. It's just uh, you may not know where lock is, and you'll have to look it up. But uh, that would be my thought is to... Um, you know, uh, if you engage in the conversation longer than uh, just a few seconds here, just hit lock so you don't you don't wander. So, uh, Red, if you're interested in our setup procedure, it starts with you uh, verifying that that radio is uh, running a 100 to 2900 on the bandpass. If you know where that is and can check that quickly, uh, uh, do so. If not, uh, just make a note to self uh, to be sure and put that radio in the 100 to 2900 transmit bandpass. Roger. 100 to 2900 transmit bandpass. Roger. Roger, Roger. All right, and then um, uh, yeah, the next part of that setup procedure is uh, to you uh, engage a compressor, you turn your compressor on, and um, put it on a three. A three on that compressor, uh, Roger, Roger. Three on that compressor, uh, Roger, Roger. Who is Roger? Roger, Roger, had a compressor on three. On three. Roger, Red. All right, now move to your AOC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word audio, and you say the word audio, just as you would in a normal QSO uh, conversation, don't stress it, but just say it, audio. Uh, adjust your mic gain control until your AOC meter is running mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on your AOC meter by way of mic gain manipulation. Hello, Red. Radio. I'm on about two thirds. Yes, sir. Uh, good. Uh, and then uh, move to your equalization page. Do you, if you do, you know how to get to your equalizer? Do you, if you do, you know how to get to your equalizer? Uh, negative. I do not. All right. Let me give you a note to self. When you uh, get to your equalizer, you want to go plus three clicks, treble boost, from where you are. Plus three clicks, treble boost. From where you are, Roger. Trouble boost. From where you are, Roger. Roger, Roger. Plus three clicks from where I'm at right now. That's right. And uh, uh, Red, are you running the uh, supplied hand mic on that radio? Red, are you running the uh, supplied hand mic on that radio? Yeah, I've got the uh, the, the regular Icon mic. Yeah, the 7300 uh, icon mic. Uh, what you want to do is pull that to the corner of your lips. Actually touch the corner of your lips and talk across it. Do not talk directly into it because you get a bunch of mouth noises. Just pull it to the side of your lips and talk across it, Roger. Pull it to the side of your lips and talk across it, Roger. Roger, Roger. I got it to the side. Do you see any difference now? Oh, Mr. Ferguson. Uh, Red, uh, Roger, that's the best way to run that microphone because that uh, will eliminate uh, mouth noises. I hear my Elmer back in there, 
So, uh, Red, let me say a 73 to you, sir. And you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. If you want to hear your recording, go to YouTube, do a call and a search for KC9 VKV, that's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. This recording will be cut number one of a series of 2100 QSO Vlog Air Check recordings, and I'll have it uh, posted by noon tomorrow. Roger? Have it uh, posted by noon tomorrow. Roger? Roger, Roger. Uh, 73 ISP, and thanks a lot for your help. I'll be looking that stuff up. Have a good uh, fall of the day, and uh, we're clear. Roger, Roger, Red 73. Now, my Elmer's back in here. Elmer, do you copy me? Uh, yes, I do. I copy you via SDR in Milford, Pennsylvania. Over. <laughs> I'm copying you locally on my uh, my dipole at the moment. Uh, uh, sounding really good there. You're. Are you barefoot? Yes, I am. Uh, t tell me something I don't know for about ten seconds. Let me look around. I'm gonna. F I want to get the best uh, local antenna on you. Sorry, is this better right here, or is this better right here? Uh, this is the vertical, and this is the, the, uh, the, I don't know, you tell me, and locally, is this better, or is this better right here? You know, I'm getting, a, on that last antenna that you were on, I'm getting some uh, um, uh, echo. And not not a quick echo, it's like delay echo. It's like you, uh, your words repeat themselves, Roger? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening to the SDR and hearing you locally now. But uh, the SWR is a one-to-one, -one and, and I like that really good. So, yeah, I'm just running 100 watts, and uh, I'm not sure where I'm at. It's the vertical or horizontal. I'm not sure which one I'm on. But uh, I am on a 40-meter antenna because there's no SWR whatsoever. So, yeah, I was listening to you on the SDR, and I thought, you know, I turned it. I finally hooked this stuff up uh, when you called. The day before, I'd hooked some stuff back up, thinking, you know, I'd, I'd like to be able to get in there once in a while and say hello. So, here I am. Yes, sir. Well, gosh, I've been missing your hello, for sure. And I want to talk to you about something. We were talking about it uh, the other night, but it has to do with, um, um, uh, what was those uh, air conditioners called? Oh, mini splits. Mini splits. Uh the indoor unit mounts on the inside, and the outdoor unit mounts on the outside of the house. Yes, sir. Now, mini splits. You know, now, uh, and funny, you, you know, we should, should be talking about that because I've been, you know, just uh, informationally, I've been uh, looking at a lot of that uh, stuff coming out of Ukraine, the sad story of a lot of destruction of those buildings. And But I noticed that e in, you know, those apartments that are being destroyed, uh, each one of them has this uh, thing by it, you know, which I couldn't figure out what it was, but the they are all running uh, mini splits over there. That is right. Yeah, they're they're uh, AC to DQ conversion. They have variable compressors, variable fan motors. Uh, it, it's it's an amazing thing. I'll uh, we'll we'll go up to the farm one day and you'll you'll take a a, a first hand view as to what it is and what. I lost part of that. I'm not sure what happened. I'm back on Milford. Uh, Lou, you copy? I'm back on Milford. Uh, Lou, you copy? Hello, Elmer. Hello, Elmer. This is... Uh, this is uh, me. You're <laughs> Elmer, do you copy? <laughs> Elmer, do you copy? Hello, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, you found it. <laughs> Just burnt me out. I was uh, getting all the way up looking for you, and you, I think you found it right there, Roger. Yeah, there's a, a, a loose connection somewhere. I'll figure it out, but there's a loose connection somewhere, and I'll have to deal with it. I, every now and then, I think it's one of these crumped-on connections. I don't care nothing about it. I'm seeing... Yeah, it's cutting in and out. It is cutting in and out. Do well, you think it's in the antenna system or in the mic or what? Mic or what? Uh, 
Uh, I'm sorry, Lou, I cannot copy you at all right now, Roger, Roger. Uh, I'm sorry, Lou, I cannot copy you at all right now, Roger, Roger. Well, my Elmer has um, been stolen by gypsies. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what happened, but uh, he's got a loose connection, I think, so he's going to be have to have to be searching for that. Uh, 73 there, Elmer. Thanks for dropping by uh, as uh, short as it was, but, uh, you know, find that uh, find that uh, that uh, problem with the antenna or the mic or whatever it was that uh, knocked you off the air. Uh, and uh, join us uh, maybe next Friday if you get a chance. 73, sir. Uh, this is a KC9 VKV. We've got about 10 minutes till 5. Uh, we record live from 3.30 to 5 on Friday afternoons. And... Uh, uh, we are, uh, you know, looking for folks that might uh, need their uh, their radio uh, checked into, and uh, maybe we can uh, help them achieve a, a more um, perfect uh, transmission. That's our our goal is to um, uh, come up with a perfect transmission. So that's what our our goal is all the time. Sometimes we manage to get close to that. Every once in a while we nail it, uh, but uh, that is our goal. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon kiss of Elagnet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Whiskey Bravo 2, Mike Sierra Bravo. Mike uh, Sierra Bravo, uh, come back slowly phonetically with the call sign. Slowly phonetically with the call sign. Bravo 2, Mike, Sierra, Bravo. Are you able to hear me on the 80 meter loop? Uh, Lou, is that you? Uh, Lou, is that you? Yeah, yeah there's more. Roger, Roger. Uh, Mike, Mike Alpha, Alpha, Uniform, Alpha, Romeo, Alpha, Yankee, Alpha, Yankee. Alpha, Alpha. I walked out, I walked back in, and I heard you inviting Paul. So here I am. Uh, uh, sir, I'm, uh, before you, I was speaking with my uh, Elmer, who uh, was uh, stolen by gypsies uh, for the moment. Uh, stand by all stations just a moment. And let me see if I can get my Elmer back on the line and find out what's going on. Elmer, are you there? Find out what's going on. Elmer, are you there? Yeah, I'm on the 80 meter NPR. I'm okay there. But uh, I got a bad connection. Got a crimp on connection from DX Engineering. Those crimp ones are no good. So I'm going to have to solder a really good PL259 on this thing. But there you go, Jimmy. That's all in a nutshell. And uh, there's a gentleman out of Milford, Pennsylvania, SDR hollering for you. Roger, Roger, Lou. All right, so let me say 73 to you, sir. I'll let you get back. Uh, I know you don't want to uh, to uh, take a chance on uh, blowing that radio up with a loose connection, so uh, I'll say 73. Thanks for dropping by. It's been a while since we uh, have uh, spoken on the air, and uh, if you get a chance, get that thing fixed. Uh, join us uh, next Friday. Roger, Roger. All righty, this is KC9 VKV. Now, uh, I had a... Uh, uh, Mike Sierra Bravo station was uh, on the line. Mike Sierra Bravo, do you still have a copy? Mike Bravo, do you still have a uh, Five and nine with a little bit of QSD on Long Island, New York. Whiskey Bravo 2, Mike Sierra Bravo. I didn't catch your call sign. It uh, went a little fast for me. Uh, my name is Maury. Mike Alpha Uniform Romeo Yankee. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, and you went too fast for me. My name is Jim, Juliet India Mike. My call is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net, where we help people uh, uh, set up their radios, their transmitters. So, uh, Mike Sierra Bravo, come back uh, slowly with the name again. Come back uh, slowly with the name again. Uh, roger, roger. My name is Maury. Mike Alpha Uniform. Romeo Yankee. That's more Mike Alpha Uniform Romeo Yankee. We're on Long Island. I'm using an ICOM 7200 at 95 watts, 9 or 5 watts, into an end fed wire up about uh, 25 feet. Back to you, Jim. Yes, sir. You say a 7200? Sir, you say a 7200? Roger, Roger. 7200. 
Alrighty, if you're interested in our setup procedure, it starts with you uh, uh, verifying you're in the 100 to 2900 uh, transfer band pass mode. Uh, if you know you are, fine. If not, uh, just make a note to yourself to uh, to check that out later. Uh, band pass, transfer band pass, 100 to 2900. That's uh, where you should run that radio, Roger. Where you should run that radio, Roger. Roger, copy the band pass at 100 to 2900, copy. Roger. Now, to continue with our setup procedure, if you're interested, it is a compression on out of 3 uh, out of 10, or 30 out of 100. I'm not sure exactly how your uh, input uh, sketching is marked, but uh, if it's a 0 to 10, you want to put it on a 3. If it's 0 to 100, you want to put it on 30. Roger, Roger. You want to put it on 30. Roger, Roger. Roger, it's, uh, I believe it's uh, actually on uh, 40, 40, but that's how it's been for a while. It seems to be okay. Yeah, well, for our set of procedure, we want to put it on a 3, because our whole um, idea in end result is a 3 dB dynamic range. So uh, we just want that compressor cooking there just barely at a 3. So if you want to set it on a 3, we'll proceed, Roger. The 3 will proceed, Roger. Roger, roger. It is set at three. It is now set at three. Yes, sir, Maury. Now, uh, move to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, audio, uh, spoken just like you would say any other word in a QSO. Don't stress it real much, but just say audio. And as you say audio, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is reading mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on your ALC meter by way of mic gain manipulation as you say the magic word audio. I got that on there. Audio. 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 Okay. Looks just like it's touch, uh, touching. Very good. Yes, sir. Now, uh, are you familiar about how to get to your equalization page? How to get to your equalization page? Negative. I'm not uh, familiar with equalization page, but I can look it up. Where did that go? All right. I'll tell you what. Why don't you just take a note? Note to self, when you figure out uh, how to get to your equalization, we want to crank in about three clicks additional treble boost. Plus three clicks boost EQ from where you are. Roger. EQ from where you are. Roger. Okay, I copied that down. Okay, Mari, just to double check your uh, call sign, Whiskey Bravo 2, uh, Mike CR Bravo, Roger. Uh, Mike CR Bravo, Roger. Uh, that's correct. Whiskey Bravo 2, Mike Sierra Bravo, correct. And uh, where where were you located again, sir? And uh, where where were you located again, sir? The QTH here is Long Island, New York, in uh, Suffolk County, about 75 miles east of New York City. Yes, sir, Maury. All right, thanks for dropping by, sir. And if you want to hear your audio, it sounds pretty good. Uh, why don't you uh, give me a, a little bit more recording? Why don't you tell me uh, the best thing you like about your 7200 for about 10 or 15 seconds? Let me get a good recording for you. Seconds. Let me get a good recording for you. Hi, oh, Roger, Roger. Here is WB2MSC, and uh, I'm using a 7200 here. We have a 7300 up in the station in Vermont. I like the 7200 because it looks like a military radio. I think it's cool looking. It looks a lot like the radios that we had in the uh, mobilized vehicles uh, when I was on active duty, uh, except for the microphone uh, connector. Other than that, it, it really uh, it has a cool look. It's compact, and it does everything I need, and it's simple. Uh, WB2MFD, back to you. Roger, Maury. What kind of mic are you running there? Roger, Maury. What kind of mic are you running there? Uh, it's just a regular stock mic, HM36, uh, hotel mic 36, uh, mic. Uh, hand mic. Uh, hand mic. Yeah, Maury, is it a hand mic? Yeah, Maury, is it a hand mic? Yes, Roger, it's a hand mic. It's a hand mic that changes the radio. Roger, Roger, Maury. Well, let me s suggest a way to use that hand mic. The, the best way is to pull it to the corner of your mouth and speak across it. Pull it to the corner of your mouth where it actually touches your lips to the corner of your mouth and then speak across it. Uh, that minimizes a bunch of mouth noise, Roger. That minimizes a bunch of mouth noise, Roger. 
Yeah, I just stand that. Roger, Roger. And that's uh, the way we're doing it. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, Murray. Well, let me say 73 to you, sir. Thanks for dropping by. And uh, we will be uh, posting this recording up on YouTube. Uh, and so if you would like to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do a call it a search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. That will take you uh, to this recording. This will be cut number one of a series of 2100 QSOV log air check recordings. And, uh, and regardless of what YouTube says, this recording will be uh, cut number one. Roger, Roger. Uh, cut number one. Roger, Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. We'll check out the YouTube and thanks for the assistance. WB2 MSB uh, 73, Jim. Appreciate it. Stay happy and have a nice weekend. Yes, sir, Maury, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, join us uh, next uh, Friday if you get a chance uh, so we can hear those numbers uh, that you'll be cranking in between now and then. So, uh, gosh, uh, I, we're getting close to uh, wrapping up here and turning into a pumpkin, so I've got room for one more. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Whiskey 4 Hotel Yankee, India. Whiskey 4 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Uh, Whiskey 4, Hotel Yankee, India. Hotel Yankee, India, Roger, and what's the name there? Yankee, India, Roger, and what's the name there? The name is Jay, Juliet Alpha, Yankee, I'm in Northern Virginia. Roger, Jay in Virginia, and what radio are you running, sir? Running a ICOM 705 with uh, with just a hand mic. Roger 705. Well, if you're interested in our setup procedure, uh, starts with uh, how old is that radio? Is that a, uh, a recent radio or an older radio? Uh, a recent radio or an older radio? No, it's a newer radio. It's just like the 7300. Uh, Aces at zero, trebles at two, and running uh, two percent compression on the audio. I actually just need a, uh, a a signal report is what actually what I need. Uh, I'm running into a solid state amplifier here. Just wondering what the what the signal you would have on me. Well, uh, Jay, uh, I'm uh, copying you on Milford uh, PASDR. You look to be about 10 over, but you you do have some situations there that we could probably help you with. First off is uh, the microphone. Uh, you're getting a lot of mouth noise there, so as I suggest, you use that mic uh, by pulling it to the corner of your lips and talking across it. Otherwise, you get a bunch of mouth noise. Roger. Otherwise, you get a bunch of mouth noise. Roger. Yeah, it's getting the mouth off. I would normally hold it off to the side here like this. That, that probably helped that out a lot, did it? Yes, sir. And uh, our set of procedure is such that uh, it starts uh, with you uh, verifying you're in the 100 to 2900 bandpass mode. Most folks don't know where that is, so, uh, you know, they just take a note to check to be sure that they're in the uh, uh, 100 to 2900 bandpass mode. Then it's about EQ, uh, about uh, compression, and uh, we usually suggest to run a 3 on the compressor. It's a token amount, but it does exactly what uh, needs to be done. Uh, 3 out of uh, 10 or 30 out of 100, Roger. 30 out of 100, Roger. QSL, QSL. Yeah, I think I'm at uh, 100, 2900 on the bandwidth is what the uh, transmit bandwidth is on it. Um, and the uh, I run the compression at 2 is what, what I'm running it at. Um, and the, uh, the bass is at 0. The treble is at Plus two, I believe, is what the, the trouble is. But I, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the transmit bandwidth there, if you have a, a, a pan adapter uh, that you can look at to see if you have enough signal on me, uh, I think it is at uh, 100, 2900. should put me right around uh, 2.9 wide or so. Roger, well, looking good. Now, I did hear your uh, compressor suck up a couple of times, so but it doesn't necessarily mean it's the compressor. <laughs> what you need to do is go to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, audio, spoken as you would speak any other word in a QSO, audio, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger? It's running mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger? Uh, QSL, yeah, that's about where it's at right there. I just uh, backed my game down a little bit there to 10, 10%. I was running it at 15, 
but uh, on the peak, it's about two-thirds on the scale, but uh, typically running right about uh, half scale on ALC. Yes, sir. Looking better. Now what I want you to do is give me a dead key for three seconds. Just give me a key. Don't say anything. Just let me listen to you for three seconds. Roger. Mm, just let me listen to you for three seconds. Roger. And, and not say nothing, right? Is that what you were saying? Just hold a carrier? Yeah, I'm listening to your compression expansion. Yeah, I'm listening to your compression expansion. Yeah, I'm I'm hearing that uh, come up, uh, and you say you're you're on a two on that compressor. And you say you're you're on a two on that compressor. Yeah, the compressor is at two on the compression. Yeah, it's two. Uh, try a one. Try a one, and uh, let me listen to see how much suck up there is. Uh, dead key three. How much suck up there is? Uh, dead key three. There you went. It might be picking up the AC. It's right outside the door here in the room, and it's on right now. So that could be what the problem is. Yeah, well, not a problem. It's just a technical situation. Uh, and I heard it more suck up that time than I did the time before. And, and uh, what I wanted you to do was go to half of that input level, and it sounded like you went to double that input level. So, you know, less compression because you don't want uh, suck up going between the words, Roger? Uh, suck up going between the words, Roger. Okay, the compression was a one. I turned it down to one is what it's on right now. And as I'm talking, I'm going to cut it off. That's that's zero compression there. One, two, three, four, five. No compression. And there is one on the compression. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, sir. I think a one is better because it doesn't suck up quite as much. But it is sucking up. And you can definitely hear it suck up uh, as soon as you turn it on. So uh, I would hate to see what a 10 would be on that. Uh, uh, and that's uh, like a 0 to, to uh, uh, 10 input level. Is that what that is? Uh, 10 input level. Is that what that is? Yeah, 0 to 10, just like on this 7300, exactly. The uh, the 7300, the 7610, and this all share the same uh, the same compression and uh, and EQ settings. Yeah, so I would run that on a one because uh, if you go to a two, it's going to start be sucking up between the words. So uh, I would run that on a one. Otherwise, it looks looks really good. If you want to hear it, uh, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC nine VKV. That's Kilo Charlie nine Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. It will take you uh, to this recording. This will be a uh, cut number one of a series of twenty one hundred uh, QSO VLOG air check recordings, and I'll have it uh, uploaded by noon tomorrow. Right? Roger. I'll have it uh, uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Okay, QSL. Very good. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, and uh, have a great uh, uh, Father's Day weekend. And um, um, I'll uh, I'll get on there and, and and listen to it there. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, Seven three from Whiskey Four Hotel Yankee India. Happy Father's Day. Roger, Roger, Jay, same to you, sir, 73, and uh, thanks for dropping by. If you get a chance, join us next uh, next Friday. Well, I see by the clock on the wall there's a dead fly. Ew, and we got to get out of here. So, uh, uh, gosh, uh, if you've uh, participated, want to hear your radio, uh, if you go to YouTube, do a call and a search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. That will take you uh, to this recording. I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So we got to get out of here. We will be returning this frequency to normal amateur radio use. This is a Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, clear.